impact of the end of Title 42 is being felt far from the border. ABC's Jacqueline Lee joins us now from the Port Authority bus terminal here in New York, where officials are bracing for the arrival of more migrants. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Eva. We've already seen one bus arrive and we're told two more are on the way. We're seeing cities take a stand pleading for federal help, calling this a true crisis. Now, first, here in New York, now that Title 42 has expired, New York City is expecting more migrants to enter their already overburdened shelter system, with Mayor Eric Adams saying they can't handle this on their own. They simply don't have the resources. Mayor Adams busing migrants to the suburbs like Orange County, sparking an even larger fight. Orange and Rockland counties filing lawsuits and restraining orders in an attempt to stop migrants from staying long term at hotels. In Chicago, Mayor Lori Lightfoot issued an emergency declaration and Denver Mayor Michael Hancock warned of city service cuts if the federal government doesn't step in to help. In Texas, Governor Greg Abbott has continued busing migrants to sanctuary cities despite their protests. He's been doing this for the past few months, and he just sent more to Washington, D.C., saying it is the only way to provide relief to its border towns. And back here in New York, Governor Kathy Hochul writing a letter to President Biden asking for the administration to use federal land to house asylum seekers. Janae. Feeling those impacts all around the country. Jacqueline, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.